Darren Aronofsky's film Mother is very commonly acknowledged as incredibly disturbing and controversial. The psychological horror film follows a young woman, referred to as Mother, who lives in a countryside Victorian mansion with her husband. Their calm life is disturbed when a couple unexpectedly shows up at their doorstep. Mother's husband is incredibly welcoming to the couple, allowing them to stay in their home against Mother's wishes. As the film goes on, it gets more and more unsettling with its contentious themes and use of sex and nudity, but especially its very graphic violence. Aronofsky and the cast have spoken out many times on the meaning of the film. In a quick nutshell, Mother represents Mother Nature. Her husband represents God. The rest of the people, well, they represent humankind. At the end of the film, Mother gives birth to a son, which her husband gives away to the people. The baby is then killed and eaten by the people. <laughs> Expectedly, Mother's baby is a representation of Jesus. Besides the very clear religious themes and elements, Mother is used as a statement to explore environmental destruction. Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Mother, has described her character's connection to the house as being of one organism. They see us as, as one organism. So the house symbolizes Earth, and the countless people who completely and mercilessly wreck it at the end show how humans are destroying the planet. But I'm not going to talk about that, because it's already been discussed at length. Jennifer Lawrence did a press interview in which she stated that the movie was a feminist film, and it made me reflect on what it means to be a feminist film, and even more so, for anything to be feminist. What does feminist mean? According to most reputable sources, it's something along the lines of advocating women's rights on the basis of the equality of the sexes. I think within society, there's a problem with how people understand and interact with feminism. There's a presumption that feminists are angry and destructive man-haters and that everything the term feminism touches turns to fire. But really, the equality that feminism advocates for can present itself in more subtle ways. Jennifer Lawrence's character in Mother is an authentic presentation of a subservient and silenced woman. Mother is presented as the age-old idea of a perfect housewife in which she is easily dominated emotionally and physically. She looks gentle with her porcelain skin and delicate clothing. When she expresses her thoughts, her husband easily shoves them away, slowly destroying her dignity. The frustration is bursting out of her in every scene of the movie, and yet her anger looks calm in the saddest way possible. Viewers easily agree that the film is very anxiety-inducing, and this is because it's so easy to sympathize with Mother. We're looking directly at a woman who has her voice blatantly ignored by every single person in the film. She fights and fights against it, but to no avail. To us, her frustrations are obvious and incredibly valid, so it's frustrating when she's not even slightly acknowledged. Everything about this movie is extreme. Its brutal violence definitely takes the cake in that regard. But in terms of demonstrating what many women's lives look like, it's really not that inaccurate. Whether it's the emotional manipulation she faces or the physical abuse, Mother is an example of so many women. For a piece of art to be feminist, women don't need to turn into sword-bearing warriors. They don't even need to turn out on top at the end. The work simply needs to present an authentic discussion of what gender inequality can look like. Controversy over whether the film took its violence too far set aside, Mother is definitely a feminist film. We see a woman slowly broken down by her husband and the rest of the world, silenced and unheard until she's gone. Feminist works start a conversation through recognizing unacceptable gender-based oppression. Mother was used for domestic labor, sexual gratification, and her childbearing capabilities, but her husband chose no real care for her. Women are so often thought of as pawns to society, but this film gives viewers an intimate perspective of this female experience. And though Mother is continuously placed in a position where she's given no power and assumes no control, she's not a weak individual. Mother performs great bravery in her existence in that disrespectful marriage alone. She faces her fears, she moves forward in life, and in the interest of her baby, she musters up the courage to take on the world. And yet, the film concludes her character as a replaceable object, giving life to the world, 
but also superficially seen as merely decorative. The movie and its presentation of Lawrence's distraught and abused character is one side of a feminist discussion. We, the audience, must then fill the other side. What do we do? Do we respond and acknowledge her horrific truth? The truth of so many women? Or do we turn a blind eye and move on? No better than every character that played a role in Mother's disgusting exploitation. Our integrity comes in how we interact with probing works like this. Your move.